Our Lord Jesus Christ, though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that you, through his poverty, might be rich. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9. The Lord Jesus loves you, and he has given everything for you. He left heaven and came down into this world so that we can go to heaven. And when he died on the cross, he gave himself, he gave his life, so that if we trust in him, we can have eternal life and be forever with him. Hello, I hope you're keeping well. I want to tell you today about a poor widow woman whom the Lord Jesus took notice of. We read about her in Mark's and Luke's Gospels. The Lord Jesus was in Jerusalem, in the temple. The temple was built to be God's house, a place where people could come from all over the world to pray to him and to be blessed by him. But sad to say, not everyone who came to the temple was there because they wanted to know God and to serve him. The Lord Jesus was sitting with his disciples opposite the treasury, watching as people came by and threw their offerings into the collection boxes. There were many rich people there that day, dressed in fine clothes, well fed, carrying big money bags full of gold and silver coins, and some of them gave very generously. You could hear the jangle of coins being poured in. Then a poor widow woman came by. You might not have noticed her in the crowd, but the Lord Jesus noticed her, and he knew all about her, and he cared about her, just as he cares about you and me. She wasn't well dressed, and she didn't get much to eat, and she didn't need a big money bag to carry all her money in. She was clutching two tiny brass coins in her hand, and they were all that she owned in the world. The coins were mites, the smallest coin there was. They might have been just enough to buy her a couple of little barley loaves for her dinner that day. I don't know what she would have had to eat the day after. She walked past the treasury, where all the rich people were pouring money in, and as she came to the boxes, she opened her hand and dropped in one, two little mites, her offering to God. You would hardly have heard the tiny clink they made as they fell among all the gold and silver pieces, but the Lord Jesus noticed. You see this poor widow, he said to his disciples. She has given more to God than all those who have thrown in large amounts. They gave a lot, but they still had a lot left for themselves. She is in need, and she has given all that she had, everything that she had left to live on. The Lord Jesus wasn't poor. He was rich. The world is his because he made it, and everything in it. His home was heaven with his Father, God. But he gave up everything when he came down into this world to be your saviour, and when he died on the cross to take your sin and the punishment of your sin? That poor widow gave all that she had to live on. The Lord Jesus gave his life. I wonder what happened to that poor widow afterwards. The Bible doesn't tell us. But we do know that the Lord Jesus fed those who were hungry and gave to those who were poor, and that the Lord Jesus preached the gospel to the poor. He told good news to those who had nothing, that he would forgive their sins, and that he would give to them eternal life if they would just ask him. The Lord Jesus was pleased with what that woman had done, but she wouldn't go to heaven because of what she had given to God. But she, and you, and I, can go to heaven because of what the Lord Jesus has given for us. It's good to be able to tell you about the Lord Jesus again. God bless you and your mums and dads and all your families and keep you safe.